Richard Marcus's signature move is this cheat called the Savannah, named after a stripper. That move, as simple as it was, was the biggest money-making cheat move in the history of, of legalized gaming and will never be surpassed. Here's how it works. He puts a red $5 chip on top of a purple $5,000 chip, with the $5 chip slightly overlapping, so the dealer can't see the $5,000 chip below. I want the dealer to think that it's this bet, that it's two $5 chips. If the bet loses, my partner at the wheel, he'll yell, damn it. That is my signal that I have to remove the $5,005 off the layout before the dealer can pick it up. Had the dealer seen the action, the dealer's gonna yell, hey, sir, put that down. You can't pick up your chips like that. The bet lost. And I go, oh, I'm sorry. I have a drink in my hand. I go into a drunk routine. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I can't believe I did that. And I put back $10. And the key is that there's no problem because the dealer thought that this $10 was the original bet because the dealer never saw the $5,000 chip underneath. He says the move is brilliant because he's cheating when he loses, not when he wins. When the roulette wheel favors him, he lets the $5,000 chip covered by the $5 chip stand. I immediately go, yes, I won, there it is, and I point at it. There it is, a $5,000 bet on the column, two to one, that pays 10 grand, and I carry on. Now, the dealer thinks there's $10 here. The dealer takes me for some kind of idiot. The dealer now comes down and removes it, and wow, it's there, and the dealer sees it. He says the cheat is near perfect because, from the vantage point of the overhead security cameras, Everything looks legit. All they see is this. I made a legitimate bet. I made that bet. And they have to pay because the camera tells them that I made that bet. I did make that bet. It was a, it was a legitimate bet.